नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लोकसभा इलेक्शन 2024 फेस वन टुमारो 19 अप्रैल फेस वन ऑफ लोकसभा 2024 स्टार्ट्स तमिलनाडु ऑल सेट टू वोट एंड बीजेपी इज होपिंग टू गेन फुट होल्ड इन तमिलनाडु Tamil Nadu will go to polls for all 39 seats on April 19 in the first phase of Lok Sabha elections with a triangular contest anticipated in the southern state. The first phase of the 18th Lok Sabha elections will be held on Friday, April 19 and Tamil Nadu is all set to vote in the first phase with a triangular contest on the cards between the ruling dravida manetra kadagam the all india anna dravida manetra kadagam and the bharatiya janata party the southern state has seen intense campaigning heated debates and notably a vigorous effort from the bjp under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi to establish a presence in the dravidian stronghold make marking a significant aspect of the political landscape in 2024 950 candidates in free election to all the 39 lok sabha seats in the state will be held on friday and the fate of 950 candidates will be decided by about 6.23 crore voters who are set to exercise their franchise in nearly 68000 polling station the bjp aims to significantly advance its position in a state where it has never scored more than four seats its 2019 attempt was unsuccessful with its ally ai admk winning just one seat in thani by a slim margin of 6.2% while the dmk led alliance is hopeful of repeating its 2019 performance the polls are also crucial for ai admk which came out of bjp led nda in september last year notably the bjp is set to compete for 23 seats with its smaller allies contesting the remaining 16 seats on the other hand indi bloc partners congress will contest on 9 seats and dmk will vie for 22 seats both the cpi and cpim will contest in two seats each prominent constituencies coimbatore the hub of western tamil nadu is the most keenly watched constituency in the state this season this season state bjp chief k anamla is in the poll for a from this seat and faces dmk leader ganpati p rajkumar a former mayor and ai dmk Singai Ramachandran he also faces a challenge from the Tamil nationalist Nam Tamil Kachi in the four way contest with anti DMK congress votes split into three Jharkhand governor CP Radhakrishnan who was the BJP candidate from Coimbatore in the past two Lok Sabha election of 2019 and 2000 14 had suffered back to back defeats the seat is currently held by cpi pr natarajan in his manifest for the constituency anamlai who quit the ips to join politics promised the establishment of the indian institute of management the office offices of the national investigation agency nia and the narcotics control bureau ncb in the coimbatore city Thutu Kudi DMK's Kanimoji is contesting against AI DMK's R Shiva Sami Valumani and Tamil Manila Congress Mopnar this time Kanimoji comfortably won the seat in 2019 Lok Sabha seats with a margin of 347000 votes he had defeated former Telangana governor Tamil Sai Sundarajan by over 3.47 lakhs votes Chennai South incumbent DMK MP Tami Jhatwi Thanga Pandian will face former Telangana governor and BJP leader Tamil Sai Sundarajan while the AI DMK has fielded ex MP 
Dr. J. Jayawardhan, who won from here in 2014, the constituency has been a DMK stronghold with a party winning it five times, Chennai Central. This particular constituency is getting up for a head-to-head electoral battle between the BJP and the DMK. The former union minister and current DMK MP are contending against the BJP Vinoj P. Selbam and DMDK's B. Partha Sarthi. Marn has previously scored victories in this constituency is 2004 and 2009 as well. Notably, he served as the Union Minister of Communications and Information Technology in the Manmohan Singh led UPA government in back in 2004. Neil Gris, the Neil Gris Lok Sabha constituency of 2014-2024 is set to witness a clash of political heavyweights with Union Minister and BJP candidate L. Morgan poised to compete against DMK's incumbent A. Raja and AIDMK's D. Lokesh Tamil Selvan. The Neil Gris constituency has historically favored the Congress with seven victories, followed by the DMK with three wins and the AIDMK and BJP is securing victory twice. In the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, Raja emerged victorious, defeating AIDMK's TR Thiagarajan with a significant margin of 4 2 lakhs votes. Raja garnered 5,47,830 votes. Shivganga. This constituency will witness a three cornered contest with sitting Congress MP Karthi Chidambram taking on BJP's Devanathan Yadav, a businessman and ex Javier of AIDMK Karthi, son of former Union. Minister P. J. is seeking victory from the seat for the third time in the 2019 polls. His son Karthi trounced BJP National Secretary H. Raja with a big margin of around 3.3 lakh votes. Ramanathapuram, former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister O. Panir Swilvam, OPS, and who is contesting as an independent candidate from this constituency. He is pitted against incumbent MP and IUML ally of the DMK candidate K. Nawasakani as well as P. Jaya Perumal of the AI ADMK BJP is supporting OPS in this election. In the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, K. Nawasakani from IUML won the seat with a margin of 1,27,122 votes. Virudhanagar, the contest in this constituency is between incumbent Congress MP B. Manikam Tagore and two, and two high-profile candidates, actor and producer Radhika Sarath Kumar of the BJP and V. Vijay Prabhakaran of the DMDAK, who is the son of late actor Vijay Kant. The constituency known as the birthplace of K. Kamras, one of the tallest leaders in Tamil Nadu politics, lies adjacent to Madurai, Tagore has won twice from the country. What happened in 2019? In the 2019 Lok Sabha election, the DMK-led alliance secured a landslide victory in the state, capturing 38, uh, 38 out of 39. The DMK won 24 seats, while the Congress claiming 8 and both the CPI and CPM scored 2 seats. Additionally, the VCK and IUML each won each the BJP draw a blank. In this election, BJP is hoping to score to win at least five to seven seats and Coimbatore seat will be definitely won by K Anamlai. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar my dear friends. Thank you. Namaskar.